Okay, great. Uh, welcome everyone to today's Glamkan seminar. I'm Ali Poyanme. I'm nephrologist at Kaiser Permanente in Northern California and the Regional Glomerular Disease Program Director. Today, Dia is not here with us, so I have the pleasure of uh, introducing Dr. Yalin Wang. Thank you, Dr. Ali, for this wonderful opportunity to uh, discuss uh, uh, this uh, very interesting topic. Let's see here. Here. All right. So today I'm going to talk about ANCA associated vasculitis. So in 1936, Friedrich uh, Wagner first described three patients with small vessel vasculitis and glomerulometers uh, inflammation. So in 1982, uh, Davis and his colleagues uh, detected this anchor in eight patient with the policy immune necrotizing glomerular nephritis. So the, later on, so anchor by uh, this indirect immunofluorescent staining on ethanol fixed leukocyte, they have two patterns. One is the cytoplasmic pattern uh, showed on this here and the other one is a perinuclear anchor. So uh, the, the cytoplasma anchor is this anti-protein uh, 3 or PR3 anchor. And the perinuclear anchor is anti-myeloperoxidase MPU anchor. All right. So, so the, the anchor associated vasculitis is the most uh, common primary systemic small vessel vasculitis in adult. Uh, there are three categories. The glomerulatosis with the polyangiitis, GPA, uh, microscopic polyangiitis, MPA, and eosinophilic gra granulomatosis with the polyangiitis, or EGPA. So GPA is a character Rise by necrotizing granulomatous inflammation in the absence of asthma. EGP uh, is uh, uh, characterized by asthma, eosinophilia, and necrotizing granulomatous inflammation. MP is the absence of granulomatous inflammation and asthma, just uh, this small vessel vasculitis. So the pathogenesis of anca vasculitis uh, involved in the five steps. So autoimmunity to anca, uh, neutrophil priming and neutrophil activation uh, called natosis leading to and then endothelial damage. So in response to this uh, environmental and infectious or genetic factors that triggers uh, this uh, immune system activation through dendritic cell, uh, CD4 T help cell, then B cell activation produce uh, uh, this anchor. And also this uh, environmental or this infectious and genetic factors triggers a, uh, a, a release of TNF-alpha, this uh, uh, interleukin-8 uh, LPS and complement activation, et cetera, this leading to neutrophil priming so that, that the PR3 and MPO and the C5 Translocate to the membrane. This so the anchor recognizes this uh, this antigen, then this uh, leading to neutrophil activation. Then that's uh, um, develop this uh, uh, reoxygen oxidative stresses and some other you know um, proteins uh, leading to this uh, uh, netosis the net formation, and this also alternative complement pathway activation 
is, is very important also in the pathogenesis of uh, ankle vasculitis. Uh, that's uh, netosis nets. Thank you.